triggering if they've had negative experiences with abuse, with males in positions of authority. And so for them, she might be a, a better way, a way for them to connect better with the creator, with the divine. And I found that kind of beautiful in a way. Please. One expert told you people still get into a tizzy about this. So yeah, get into a fucking tizzy. What's the tizzy? What's so the yeah, there's tizzy? a lot of pushback. You'd think it would be mainly from men, but it's from, from women as well. Um, the pushback is that the Quran is perceived to be an immutable text in Islam. You know, it's never been changed and we can't change it. In the Quran, Allah is referred to as he, uh, huwa, the Arabic uh, pronoun for he. So we cannot go in and change that. Allah never self-identified using an English pronoun, so there's no wiggle room to call Allah she. That's what um, the pushback would say. I could... Shut the fuck up! So, they actually were... That, that was a professor of... Islamic gender pronouns or something. I, I mean, they, they, they found this fucking NPR is going on and on and on about fucking Allah. I thought his name was Allah. Whatever the fuck that dude's name is. Uh, going on and on and on. Whether you can call Allah she or I guess a g gender neutral pronoun, like, uh, you know, like they. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. The, just the fact that there is one professor of Islamic gender studies uh, uh, on this planet. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. You take fucking organized religion and you combine it with uh, attacks on the fucking language. Uh, wh what the fuck, people? Uh, think that just to fucking cram in their fucking brains. The motherfucking planet is going to fucking hell in a handbasket, and we're sitting here blabbing on and on and on and on. <clears throat> fucking NPR about Islamic gender studies and, and the fact that these little whatever uh, you, you want to call them uh, can't change uh, can't castrate Allah in the fucking Quran fucking Allah does not fucking exist you can't change the pronoun of something that fucking does not exist. Ugh, oh, Jesus fucking Christ. All of this goddamn bullshit. Meanwhile, I mean, look at the goddamn air in uh, the Finger Lakes of New York today. Good God, look, look at this shit, guys. Uh... How close are these goddamn fires getting? And you're not going to hear about that on NPR News. Uh, they're too busy talking about whether some mythical, made-up, uh, fictional character uh, has balls or ovaries. Who gives a fuck? Uh, Jesus fucking Christ. I'm going to... I am heading to Home Depot for a big bag of diatomaceous earth to treat mythical bed bugs that don't exist. So, uh, still dealing with the fucking fallout from uh, this bullshit. Uh, so, I, goddamn Terminix comes out today and inspects about well, two of the three tiny houses, finds absolutely no sign of, of, of a bed bug anywhere. We, we can't find a bug. We can't find any bed bug shit. We can't find any bed bug, you know, blood splatters. Uh, 
the guy is coning around with his fucking flashlight and everything. And uh, <laughs> he sees no sign of fucking bed bugs at Bugs in a Jar Farm. Now, he did mention you realize you're completely infested with uh, mice in your tiny houses. Uh, mice and carpenter ants and, and I said dude uh, I would rather be infested with fucking black widow spiders and scorpions than bed bugs I just want you to write in your fucking report you found no sign of a fucking bed bug anywhere at bugs in a jar farm uh, but it couldn't hurt uh, you know, he said uh, in the business you're in that he is uh, always recommending to uh, Airbnb folks uh, to get this stuff called diatomaceous earth. I have used this before in my organic gardening. Uh, and he goes, it couldn't hurt. He goes, the shit is cheap. Uh he, he goes, just get this shit and put it around underneath all of your fucking beds. Just very carefully go around and sprinkle this shit, uh, uh, you know, up underneath your beds and along the baseboards behind your bed and everything. He, he, he goes, this is really where a penny's worth of prevention can uh, prevent... $500 worth of control so anyway I'm actually going to take somebody's advice even though there is no sign of uh, bed bugs we did find a baby spider in the bed where this woman uh, stayed last night this spiritual pilgrim I guess was sleeping uh, with a baby spider I I did not share the baby spider story with this poor guy from Terminix. I can imagine what he would have thought about my my baby spider story. Kept that to myself. But anyway, I guess I'm going to break down and get the fucking diatomaceous earth. Uh, you know, he said it's not just bed bugs, uh, also fleas that if people bring their fucking flea-bitten dogs into my tiny houses, whatever. Uh, he goes, it's just good stuff. Totally. He didn't use the word, or what did he say? Non-toxic. I don't know whether this shit's organic or not. Totally non-toxic. It's cheap. It takes two minutes to sprinkle around your fucking bed and baseboards. So, uh... I'm driving through the smoky skies to go get some diatomaceous earth. I mean, I can't believe this. I mean, look at the sun peeking, trying to get through this goddamn smog. Oh boy, the first week in June, and we are hundreds of miles from these fucking wildfires. And here we are, waiting in vain for some rain to uh, <clears throat> blow out this goddamn smoke. Still waiting for my first drop of rain in my goddamn rainwater collection system that I put, I put in that goddamn rainwater collection system like three weeks ago. Waiting for it to rain. Look at all of these goddamn dead trees, guys. I'm, I'm beginning to think it's even more than ash trees. I mean, all the ash trees were already dead. Uh, the, the black locust trees are now the latest things that look sick as shit. I mean, look at this. Just mile after mile uh, of these fucking dead trees. And this is not the, the, the gypsy moths. Uh, aren't going to even get here for another two or three weeks. Now, this is our third year of the three-year gypsy moth cycle. So, the, this isn't fucking gypsy worms. They're going to be here in a couple of weeks. 
It's just, uh, I mean, we're fucked. I think it is. Mile after mile of dead tree against a goddamn smoky ass backdrop. But it is 70 degrees, 70 degrees on uh, whatever this is, Monday, June 5th. As far as they can see into the future, it is not going to get above 75 degrees here. So after that little bit of 92 a few days ago, fine with me. Give me 75 degrees from here to November. Anyway, get out there and enjoy your dead trees and your smoke-filled skies while you still can. Bye, guys.